Hi, Hanalani Schools. My name is Braden Isaacs. I've been in Hanalani for one, two, all my life. So, first of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone at Hanalani Schools, students, teachers, faculty, everyone at Hanalani, to just helping me find out who I am. I, I'm really thankful for all the activities that are going on that just show me what I'm passionate about, what I care about, what I want to be, all the teachers and faculty there that are just there to help motivate and guide and just be there for students. You know, they're like family to us. And I really want to commend the, all the incorporation of the technology during school now in the bring your own device policy, the hybrid classes, the independent classes, the online classes. That is just so great. Oh, the charging station in the Founders Hall. That is such a great um, improvement and step towards being that future school that we want to be. And I've been at the school all my life, so I've seen it through its ups and downs. I've seen other things just tried and stopped trying. I've seen all the improvements we've made, and we've made so many improvements. And I know we are going to be, we are a great school, and we are just going to keep on getting greater. So a few things that I wanted to talk about today is first, this year has been, there's been so much change going on. We have class times, you have student body Fridays, we have the power hours, we have clubs, all these different activities for students to do and find themselves and find and do things they want to do. Um, I feel like there's just not enough information from the leaders of whatever's going on to the students, such as during the class times, um, for a lot of the clubs. I feel like a lot of students don't go to clubs just because they don't have enough information and they just feel overwhelmed by everything else that's going on. So they just kind of stay in the Founders Hall, do their homework, which is good because we have a lot of homework to do. But I just want to just maybe see some more announcements during chapel instead of just in the email be like, hey, okay, this is what this club is about, come check it out or just more communication between teachers and the students leading the clubs to just find ways to make the club more open and more of a welcoming environment. Um, second of all, I want to talk about the disciplinary system. So we've been doing the points to merit system for years, and I really want to get down to what the goal of the disciplinary system is. That is restoration, reconciliation, and growth of a student. Okay, so the points and demerits do their job. They say, hey, you're doing something wrong. We're going to punish you for it. But it's missing that last end of it, the growth and restoration part and reconciliation. So I really wanted to maybe recommend um, incorporating some kind of rehabilitation or just some accountability system in the disciplinary system, such as maybe once a week for repeat offenders. If they can just have a place to meet during lunch with a teacher and be, and they can just have a conversation saying, hey, what's up? Why, why do you keep doing this? Or just what's going on? Because us students, we don't mean to act out. We don't mean to go against authority. Sometimes we forget things like pens, pencils, songbooks, etc. We just honestly want someone to talk to and just help us through our problems because we just have so much going on. And that could just... There's so much room for improvement in that. And last of all, I just want to... This is a good thing, and there's just so much room for potential. So Haralani is a second home to us students. High school, middle school, elementary. We spend just as much time at home as we do in school. And so far, it's been a great environment, but I feel like there's just so much more room for improvement. So... A couple years ago, we had the Illusionist Club, and a lot of students were into that. They do magic on the side. That's that's pretty cool. We had the Ping Pong Club. So it's not just clubs, but I want to talk about activities in general or just places where students can go to find what they like, find who they are, find what they like to do. So maybe incorporating in Power Hour, have some teachers lead some kind of maybe writing seminars. Math teachers have math seminars. History teachers have like history sessions like, hey, we're going to study this era or this person during this time period because some people are interested in that. Like I would be interested in going to some of those things. That'd be really cool. Um, or maybe just have, you know, go bring back speech and drop, speech and debate. Just everything under the sun that students can get involved in but just have a lot of communication and planning and maybe have a discussion between students and faculty and teachers to just find out what would be the best things to have on campus for students to be involved in. Well, Hanalani, you guys are doing an amazing job so far and I just want to thank you guys for everything you've done so far and God bless you guys and thank you for listening to me. Thank you.